Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for August 28th through September 3rd. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Moonology Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. How does Capricorn feel about the person on their mind? That was a card and then goes the other one. They're just flying off the table. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at you. So you're done with this person. No going back to them. You have other options and you really don't want to talk to this person. All right. You're feeling good. You feel like the other options give you a little more rest and relaxation. You don't have to try so hard with them. You're enjoying your life it almost feels like huh, i can finally just relax a little with these other options where with this person you couldn't you felt like you couldn't trust them but now with that seven of swords not going back to them in any way it's very clear that you are moving on okay and the wheel of fortune just looks like luck being on your side or enjoying the good days the better days ahead of you um, recovering from this situation and seeing what else is out there for you so how does this person feel about capricorn whoa they spy on you to see who you're dating, what you're doing, and also wanting to reconcile with you and talk to you. It's been a heavy weight on their mind. They feel like they either hurt you, um, they're just like, they feel wounded, you know, or they feel like they hurt you. It's been heavy on their mind and they definitely are trying to learn how to get back in your good graces and can we reconcile our differences and really try, please Capricorn. Um, because that two of wands is communication here. And I see you ignoring them and avoiding them. Like, nope. Leaving them on red. Okay. So, the fact that they're feeling this hurt after you're not going back to them because it was too difficult. You're like, it. I get that you are feeling... Like it's about time that they they understand what I was going through and how I felt hurt by them. So the shoes on the other foot. Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and get the connection between you and this person. Ooh, there was definitely some relationship drama here. Um, arguing, fighting, and then feeling abandoned, left out in the cold right after. It all happened so fast and blew up into a lot of drama and then not hearing from them. And you feel like this person was really stubborn, but you're also like, well, I am too. I'm not changing my mind. I'm going to hold on to my values. I'm not going to let this person come back into my life. I'm not doing that because it doesn't feel good to you. All right, so let's go ahead and start clarifying. Your reading is very interesting. So. Clarify that seven of swords in reverse. Ooh, done is done. No more. You block this person or you just avoiding? Yeah, you block them to where they can't communicate with you. Okay, so if you block them from communicating with you and they're spying on you, how are they spying on you? That means that they have a fake account or something like that. They're looking into information on you through a different account. But um, yeah, you don't want to talk to this person. They made a choice when it came to a relationship and you feel like this person went back to their past or they just never 
you know, made an effort to make this more of a relationship than a friendship. Um, you're done with the situation, not wanting to talk to them and choosing you, choosing to invest in um, yourself as well. Do things that make you feel really good. Maybe talking to old friends or people, people that you were dealing with before. I don't know if that's just to get over this situation, but let me tell you, don't go back to the past. Do not go back to past people. That's never a good idea. Um, not if you dated, like they're an ex for a reason and you know that. So let's go ahead and clarify the seven of cups because you have other options here. Ooh, okay. There's somebody in particular that is an option of yours who is very wealthy or well off and that's that you're focused on that one. Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, one of these options is definitely well off and you're trying to be patient, but you're really focused on this person. And even though you've been hurt, you are wanting to pursue this. You're like, I'm not gonna let the past or this, you know, what this person did to me get me down. I'm gonna move on from it because there's somebody better right here that I wanna get to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this Four of Swords. You feel like you can just relax with this new person that things are progressing towards like taking initiative of either some of you asking them out or just opening up to this person. It feels like things are progressing. It feels really good. Something that you manifested more in line with you and it's a blessing in disguise. The justice card coming out tells me that you can trust this person you're feeling that you can trust this person or that you can open up with them and that they're very like balanced and okay for some of you this person works in like finances or law or a government job of some sort something like that because you're really impressed by whoever this is let's go ahead and clarify the ten of wands Whoever this new person is, they have your attention. Okay, so this person on your mind that is feeling this heavy weight and maybe they're not really on your mind, like you're trying to get over them, but you meet someone new and you're like, I'd rather hear more about them. Yeah, you do like them. You like the new person. This other person right here, they are definitely carrying a burden around with them. And it's their choice because they keep putting um, blocks. They're like, I'm making the choice to do this. And they put blocks in between you and them. Boundaries um, based off of their belief system that, you know, if if Capricorn wants me, they should chase after me. They should, they believe that you should come to them like find the motivation to come to them the ace of pentacles they're like i'm right here if capricorn wants me they know where to find me that's on them let's go ahead and clarify that page of swords because they're spying on you i mean they are digging for some information trying to find out who you're talking to what kind of love you have going on in your life are you happy without them um ooh nine of cups the moon card and the six of wands they definitely want to see what kind of attention you're getting and they feel like you kept some of this stuff a secret like oh i knew that capricorn was seeing somebody else but no you weren't dealing with anybody until this started to fall apart and it fell apart because in this connection there was a lot of drama there was a lot of challenges that you know, you couldn't get through with this person and feeling like it's just a loss, like it's just not worth it to you. So yeah, they spy on you to see who you're hanging out with, who you're talking to, what you're doing. And um, sometimes it's at night whenever they even drive by to see if you're with somebody getting attention. 
The temperance card is at the bottom of the deck. So tells me like they're not really finding a lot. Um, they want to get your attention because they want, yeah, they're not finding out a lot about you and who you're dealing with, but you know, they feel like it's a mystery of who's, who you're giving your attention to now, but they definitely want to bring some kind of harmony between you and them. So they've been thinking about, should I reconcile with them? Should I just do it? Should I be the one? Let's go ahead and clarify this three of cups. Yeah, they want to reconcile and yes, they come in feeling confident, good about it. Let's start over. I've learned, I've grown, I'm different. You know, I, yes, I want a union with you. I want to work through these challenges, you know, and show you that I can put in the work. Ooh, goodness. Okay. So we have the sun, the world card and the strength card here. I don't see this as them dating new people. I see them as wanting to reconcile with you because even though there's challenges between the two of you, they feel like you two can get through this and they want to prove to you that they can work hard to do it. It's been a heavy weight on their mind to fix this situation. Let's get the outcome between you and this person. Someone's heartbroken because the other person just wants to be single and alone. And I, that's you. That is absolutely you. You're not going through this again. You're like, no, I already went through the pain. I'm good. Uh, but they're heartbroken that you want to be single and that you won't talk to them. And that they're also heartbroken that you're really confident and secure without them. And that you won't talk to them. You're not budging. You're not changing. You're not moving. Um, the four of pentacles right here. So they can't seem to let you go like out of their mind and after they try and talk to you and they come in really determined to fix things, they end up getting heartbroken that you're, you're like, I'm fine. Like I'm fine without you. We don't need to talk anymore. We need to not talk. Okay. So your commitment is being tested. Ooh, especially with this new person, because this person right here is going to come back and try and disrupt things with your new person. Okay. So your commitment is being tested first quarter moon and emotions are running high in a super moon. Is the 30th a super moon? I feel like it is. Um, so there's going to be a full moon on the 30th of August. Just know that. <sighs> and emotions are running high in this situation. So I don't see you bothered by them. I see that you're fine, but they're going to be bothered that you don't want to take them back. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Oh, and a new romantic cycle begins is at the bottom of the deck. Look at the, I'm like, I didn't show you what card was at the bottom of the deck and I did for other people. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.